USA. Here was a country that had everything, absolutely everything. And now, 20 years later, is what? The world's biggest leper colony. Why? Godlessness. Let me say that again. Godlessness. It wasn't the war they started. It wasn't the plague they created. It was judgment. He's a tough guy, huh? He's a tough guy. He's not even resisting arrest, bro. His whole... You could have put him in a car by now, bro. He's not resisting arrest or nothing. He's got wings. He can't do nothing. Hurt him. Hurt him. He enjoying that. He enjoying that. You enjoying it. Look at you. Your body language explains it. He got me. He got me. Winning doesn't mean anything unless someone else loses, which means you're here to be the loser. My name. You can't My win, name. man. I'm through. Get off of him now. What is wrong with you? What the f? I can't breathe, man. Please. What do you want? I can't breathe. Please, the name of the. Get up, get in the car, man. I will. Get up, get in the car. I can't move. Get up, get in the car. Mama. Get up, and get Mama. in the car. Mama. I can't. And in those circumstances, we did the best we could. And that's all I have to say about that. Supposed to stand for something. Punk. Protect and serve. Hold the law. Justice. Remember, I'd like to say that that officer failed on both aspects. And because he had failed, he is not my friend, he is not my brother, but he is my enemy. He's not my enemy because of any race, creed, or color, but he is my enemy because he has brought dishonor to the uniform and the badge. La Bible dit de pardonner à nos ennemis. Je prie Dieu de ne jamais me pardonner comme nous allons pardonner aux jeunes seigneurs. Habillez-vous. Would you dance with me? Now? On the eve of your revolution? Revolution without dancing is a revolution not worth having. We take Gotham from the corrupt and we give it back to you. The people. Gotham is yours. Do as you please. Yes, you're right. There is something wrong with this country. If our own government was responsible for the deaths of almost a hundred thousand people, would you really want to know? What was the conversation with President Trump like? It was so fast. He didn't give me the opportunity to even speak. It was hard. I was trying to talk to him, but he just kept like pushing me off. Like, I don't want to hear what you're talking about. And I just told him, I want justice. I said that I couldn't believe that they committed a modern day lynching in broad daylight. That's, I can't stand for that. Yes. I can't. And, and, and it hurt me, you know? And it just, I just don't understand, man. Why we gotta go through this? Why we gotta have all this pain, man? I love my brother. I'm never gonna see him again. Now history judges every leader, every president by how he or she treats his or her own people. A leader that would sacrifice the physical and emotional well-being of his citizens. That would treat his people as pawns just to stay in power. Well, that leader needs to be stopped.
the police will survive as they learn to serve true justice.